Woo, spring break. I love spring break, guys. If you didn't know, it's one of my favorite times of year. People are going to the beach, the sun is out, people are having fun. Except I look outside and it's snowing still. Yay, Canada. Spring break, yeah! What's up, Ocean? You got Matt here, coach of your Montreal Milotic Green. You are week six battle for the Pokemon for Glory Next Generation. They were facing off against the Duford Duwats, coached by Leaf Blade X. Make sure you go check him out, guys. His link will be in the description. Go and subscribe to him. Check him out on Twitter uh, and check out the rest of his links as well. And go see his side of the battle as well. Anyways, he's a very talented battler, guys. He was actually the only other team other than us to be undefeated through four weeks. He actually picked up his first loss last week, unfortunately. So uh, he, we don't have a clash of the undefeated. I was really hoping that we, that we might have that. Um, but it didn't happen. It's alright though. Anyways, let's get into our opponent's roster because our opponent has a very nice team. But before we do that, make sure to answer the common question of the day, which is what draft league would you like to be part of most? For me, I would love to be part of the UCL. Um, I actually got my start while playing in the UCL Dream League, which is just a league that a bunch of people uh, created on Reddit. And those people are now my really good friends. So uh, it basically was we took teams from the UCL Season 2 and we used them as they were our own. And it was a really cool process. Uh, we ended up, I ended up having the Bronx Bearcats team and we ended up losing the first round <coughs> to uh, to a team that really had, <coughs> excuse me, I don't know what's going on, but to a team that had a really good matchup against us, unfortunately. So uh, it was a lot of fun. It was what kind of started all of this for me, and I'm so happy that I decided to just hop in, hop in on Reddit, Reddit, hop in on Reddit just one day randomly, and uh, I'm happy I got in <coughs> because a lot of these people are my really good friends now. Anyways, let's get into the rosters. So our opponent has a Latios, Bisharp, Empoleon, Chandler, Aromatis, Cragonal, Megalopony, Gliscor, Zergatry, Gorgeist, Shuckle, and the Psychium Z. Psychium Z is a very good Z crystal form with Latios, with Bisharp, Psycho Cut, with Chandler, Psychic, and with Zergatry's Z Hypnosis. That's going to be a very big, very big threat to us. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on. I got a little bit of a frog in my throat right now. Um, we have a Cell Steel, Rotom Wash, Crocodile, Snorlax, Alola Marowak, Servine, Mew, Raikou, Ribombi, Ditto, Como, and the Stelium Z. Now, I haven't used Servine yet, and trust me, it's not coming yet. It also will be dropped after this week, guys. I won't reveal what it's dropped for until next week. So, uh, yeah, you'll have to tune in until you'll have to tune in again then. Anyways, let's get into what we actually brought this week. I don't really have any notes, but I just, I just kind of remember a bit of what's going on because there's not really any crazy fancy EV spreads. So, to start off, we have our Cell Steel here, Wall Ryan. Congratulations, Ryan, on getting your shiny Cell Steel. Starting next week, I will make this thing shiny because, uh, well, I mean. You got your shiny steel, it's about time you make this thing shiny too. So we have Heavy Slime, HP Ice, Earthquake, and Atomize. The reason it's level 100 so that the EVs, the IVs I should say, um, you see right here, they should be uh, 31. So we're going to basically mimic like the hyper training in the genning process. Steelium Z is, Steelium Z is there for hyper for Heavy Slime. Uh, Heavy Slime, Z Heavy Slime I should say, Oko's and Megalopony. It also Oko's a Latios and Neutral, so I wanted to take advantage of that. Atomize is there and speed makes up. And plus two, we outspeed a Scarf um, Zerkatry. Doesn't matter if he's timid or jolly, we'll make sure we outspeed that thing. So that's the plan right there. Um, this thing can do a lot of damage to our opponent. We have, we have HP Ice and the Naughty Nature because I want to make sure that we can actually uh, do at least half to a physically defensive blast score. And I don't know if he's going to be Fizz Def or Spit Def or whatever it may be, but I want to have HP Ice to hit that thing hard. Moving on though, we have Nacho, our Ditto here. Ditto hasn't come since the first week of the season where it picked up, I believe, three kills, if I'm mistaken. Was it three kills or four kills? I, I don't know. It picked up a lot of kills against our opponent while mimicking the Naginadel that our opponent had. So I want to make sure I bring this this week because our opponent has a lot of scary threats on his team. Most notably the Latios, the Megalop, and the Zerkatry are all really big threats to us and actually to him too. So I want to make sure that we can come in with this thing and put in a lot of work and that is the plan right here. So uh, that's that. Next up though, we have Rockwall, our Ribombi, Moonblast, HP Ground, Protect, and Quiver Dance. Uh, the spread is there so that we make sure that we always um, outspeed, I believe it's Latios. Um, then we have Moonblast, HP Ground, hit everything on his team. Whatever resists the Moonblast, being the Chandelure and the Empoleon, will take super effective damage from the entire round. So that's the plan right there. Uh, protect is there for fake outs from Megalopony, but I'm kind of realizing that Substitute was scarier than Protect, so I might run Roost if we ever play again. But anyway, we have Quiver Dance as well because after one Quiver Dance, we outspeed everything on his team. After two, after two cover dances, we pretty much run through his entire roster, especially if Pokemon like the uh, Chandler and like the um, Empoleon are already down. So that's that. Uh, moving on though, we have our Crocodile, Granky, Grank Irwin. Please come back to the Discord, Granky, we miss you. Um, Pursuit, Earthquake, Knockoff, and Aqua Tail. This is a set that Tails made uh, as well as he made our next set too. So Pursuit is there to trap the Latios, of course, and the Chandler. The uh, attack EVs and the uh, Adam and Nature are there so that at if our opponent is switching out with either of those Pokemon, we guaranteed I'll co it with Pursuit um, if they have no investments. I'm pretty sure that's what it was for. Uh, but yeah, we also have 84 and 84 in speed to make so we speed creep. I believe it's max speed added in Bisharp. We then have seven, 68 in 
um, special defense and 252 in HP. That makes it so that well, 252 in HP was just we could take as many hits as we possibly could, and then the rest went to special defense so that we could potentially take a Draco into a minus two Draco from the Latios. So well, that's that. This set is very very powerful against our opponent, and hopefully we can pick up a nice um, couple pursuit trap kills with this thing. Moving on though, we have Sohan's Dragon. <coughs> excuse me, Sohan's Dragon. Dragon Ass, Drain Punch, Ice Punch, and Earthquake. This set is, um, no, this set was not made by Tails. I believe this set was made in conjunction with everyone. But this was uh, Dragon Dance, Drain Punch, Earthquake, and Ice Punch hit everything on his team except for the, I believe, the Shuckle and the Aroma T for super effective damage. That's why we have Expert Belt. Um, plus one, we pretty much beat his entire team, especially if he doesn't bring Aroma Tease. And if he does, that's set of fodder for our uh, Celestia. If he does bring it, then, sorry, if he doesn't bring it, then this thing just runs through him. So that's the plan right there. Um, I'm really excited to, lead, to use this set, it's probably going to be my lead, depending on what he leads with, or what he brings, but I really think it's going to be my lead. Next up though, we have Julius Fave, our Shining Mew, Transform, Psychic, Ice Beam, and Aura Sphere. The speed, I believe, is for... what is it for? I think it's... I, I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, I don't really remember. It might be for Chandelure? I don't think it's for Chandelure. I think it's for Max Speed Bisharp. That's timid. I think that's what it's for. I don't remember, but I think that's what it is. Anyways, um, with our with our EV spread, we do outspeed, of course, a uh, Megalopony with Scarf. We have Psychic, Transform, Ice Beam, and Aura Sphere. Transform again because the video is really good against our opponent, so I want to make sure that we can potentially have a second option to transform, and Mew does that for us. Anyways, uh, this is the Game Boy Luke heat set that, uh, that everyone's been saying I should be running, so uh, finally, it's about to be run. Anyways, guys, that is the team builder. Hopefully, you enjoyed that portion of the video, but let's move on to the actual battle. Okay, ladies and gents, we are back with the battle. As you can see on your screen, our opponent brought the Zerk Tree, Latios, Empoleon, Glyscore, Megalopony, and the Chandelure. Big threats on our opponent's team right now. The Latios is the big one, the Lopony, and the Zerk Tree are the biggest ones, of course, because those things are super powerful, and I want to make sure that I get rid of the, his walls being the um, Empoleon and the Glyscore quickly. The Chandelure really isn't the biggest of threats to us, just because of, uh, well, we have the uh, bullet, not bulletproof, yeah, bulletproof, I believe, on our Como, so we are new to the Shadow Ball. Anyways, let's get into the battle, guys. I don't see a, I don't see a Aroma Tease, so I'm gonna lead off with my Como here. Also, because I feel like he's gonna lead off with his Empoleon to predict my uh, Rubombi and get rid of webs pretty easily or force that thing out. So I'm gonna lead off with Como here. We are challenged by Pokemon Trainer and Tony. Um, no Sohan's Dragon, and he's gonna send out Poseidon his Empoleon. So, great lead for us to wrap that. I have no reason not to pick Drain Punch here. It's my best play. I want to go for Ice Beam and potentially two, two KOS, so I go for the Drain Punch. And uh, in comes the Fly Score, and this does about a decent amount of damage. And right here, my calc said Ice Beam, Ice Punch will always KO this thing in this range. Unfortunately for me, I was calcing at plus one, so you're gonna see this does not take out our opponent, unfortunately. So we, might, we probably got a really, really high roll there, unless he wasn't max defense. I don't know exact, his exact spread. But he goes for the Toxic there, and right here, this means we cannot sweep. Unfortunately, if I go up for a Dragon Dance there, which was my play, honestly, but I didn't know that I, was, that I wasn't plus one, I kind of just derped there. Um, I would have gone for D-Dance, then I would have Ice Punched, and now he wouldn't go for Roost, and now he wouldn't have this much health left, so... Uh, whatever. Um, so we take an extra turn of Toxic Damage, basically, that's the uh, that's the downfall there. But he gets his Poison up. he's still in range for the Ice Punch, so I have no point in not going for the Ice Punch here. And our opponent will switch out into the Empoleon. I kind of want to predict it, but I really have no reason. The bigger threat to my team is the... Glass score, not the Empoleon. So I freeze the Empoleon there, it really isn't a big deal because he does have the Scald, of course, but Empoleon does not run Scald. So I wasn't thinking like, oh my god, that's terrible, it, it sucks, but it's not the end of the world. I predict the switch into the Chandler, and I click Earthquake here, and look at this, I do get that prediction right, so that's a really big hit on our opponent here. Um, he's down one, he's on his fighting resist, his fighting immunity, I should say. Or yeah, the critical hit did not matter, guys, at all. We are plus one Como, adamant nature, I believe. So, or not, not, no, not adamant, we are human nature, jolly nature, I should say, but, uh, we do a lot of damage to our opponent. He sends in his employer and just gonna switch out to rack up some toxic turns. I have no reason not to click Ice Punch, uh, Drain Punch here, I should say. So we do connect the Drain Punch and uh, we get some health back. It's not really gonna make a difference in us living another hit from the uh, toxic round, but I have no point in not clicking Ice Punch again. And our opponent is trying to just switch around and look at this. Is he gonna stay in? Yes, he is. And down goes the Glass Core. So Como picks up two nice KOs here. Um, it could have really been zero. Honestly, depending on the way he switched out and what he did with this certain move. So if he had gone to last on the turn, he went to uh, Chandelure, he would have been able to be fine there. But look, I, we, we played that decently well. Not the best, not the worst, but I went to my new here. Kind of a bad play, I just kind of ran out of time and I had to click on the first thing that was there and that was new. But I go into my uh, Rubambi here and I, he was supposed to call, and that falls him out, of course, and I can now go for the um, Quiver Dance. So we live the next call to guaranteed. He does, I believe, 68 points of damage max if we get a uh, Quiver Dance off. So he's going to go for the Scald here, and uh, he's going to actually, no it does less than that, I believe it does 
60 points max or 50 or whatever it is. Anyways, uh, we live that comfortably and at this point here I'm going to go for a hidden power ground as our opponent reveals the awkward. So nice tech, we do live that thankfully and uh, the good thing is we can potentially live one. And you can see right there, it's not very effective. So our hidden power was wrong. So yeah, we did have a misgen here. Unfortunately, I believe our hidden power was um, dragon um, and that really does suck. It, it sucks a lot because uh, we, we potentially could have burnt a Shuckerberry on this thing. I don't know if it has Shuckar or not anymore. I was thinking, oh, it's Hidden Power Ground. It did, it did that little, what the hell? It must be uh, Choice. It must be not Choice. It must be, um, what was it? Assault this with max special defense. So at this point, I have to sack off my Rebombi. It's the only play I have left. So going to my Crocodile here. I think he's still Assault this at this point. I get Earthquake, and he reveals to be the Shuckerberry. So, uh, that sucks. But look at this. We get some justice. We crit him. And I'm not even too mad about that because we should have been able to get rid of that Shuckleberry. Um, we did have a mess up in the genning. That's it's fine though. We, we the game came through for us and helped us out there. It's really unfortunate for our opponents, but at this point, he's going for the Ice Beam. I think I'm Scarf, and I go for the knockoff. It's my best play, and this thing will actually be Culverberry. So, well, we don't crit him this time, so we can just go for the pursuit now. There's no point in him not switching out. He did like 40% to us. At this point here, we can live any hit from the Zerkish Tree, which is actually kind of crazy when you think about it. So uh, if he goes to the Zerkish Tree, that's great, and we're at plus two now, so we do a lot of damage to everything. He has to go into his Lopany here, and that's what he does, and you're going to see, I have to sack off this thing. It's uh, four to two now, right now, and uh, I have to go with my Ditto, get a free switch into that, and then just proceed to sweep his team, because his team does not like Ditto. So I go for the, uh, the Earthquake there, and he goes for the High Jump Kick, taking us out, no big deal. And at this point here, Ditto comes in, and Ditto just has a field day. Takes High Jump Kick a few times, and we pick up a win. So. As long as we don't miss here, we should be in a really great spot. We transform to the Lopany. It's one mega that I've always wanted to use in format. Uh, I go with High Jump Kick, landed, thankfully, and the Lopany goes down, so I'm in a question. Then he will send in his, um, what is it called? His Zerkatry. And uh, unless he has Protect, then uh, this this Dazzling is not taking us out because Dazzling does 98% max. It leaves us with 3 HP at most times. We won't take it out. I don't think it was even a roll to take him out. And Dazzling comes out. We lose his hit guaranteed. I did not know that during the game, but I found it out after. High Jump comes out and we pick up a nice 3 0 win over our opponents and we keep our undefeated streak alive. So we are now 6 0 in the Pokemon for Glory next generation. I'm so surprised, honestly, that we are still undefeated because we've gone up against a lot of really good competition. That continues on next week, of course. Uh, the lot of the, a lot of the battlers and the keeper here are really talented. I'm going to actually bring this back over here just so you guys have there we go, um, something to look at. So. GG to, our, GG to our opponent. It was a really fun match to play. Unfortunately, we did get that freeze and we had a couple crits there. Uh, I don't think the only one that actually mattered. The only one that actually mattered was the one on the Empoleon, but I will say that we should have had our HP ground, but we didn't. So, uh, anyways, it, it doesn't matter. Uh, the game is over at this point and it happens. So, uh, that's that, guys. We finished the season with a guaranteed record of at least 6 and 5, at least a positive differential, positive record, I should say. So, uh, hopefully, we can continue that streak going into playoffs and, uh, yeah, potentially vie for a championship. Anyways guys, if you enjoyed it again, make sure to like the video, comment, subscribe, and share the video as well. Check out our opponent in the comment section below, in the description below. Also, make sure to join my personal Discord server, it is called The Ocean. There you get sneak peeks of certain uh, videos I'll be releasing on. Uh, if you were in there already, you know what I released. You know about the video I released on Wednesday. So, uh, yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it again, like, comment, subscribe, share, and I will see you all next time.